All right, we're a little crazy, but it's Saturday and we've decided to come check out lumber prices. We need to redo our deck in front of the house urgently. And we need about 60 two by six by eight treated pieces of lumber, uh, deck lumber. We're gonna sell a <laughs> kidney each to pay for this. <laughs> And possibly Chevy. We don't want to make that kind of sacrifice. So kidney first. Kidney first. Yeah. So let's go inside now. We're going to see what their prices are at here. We have no idea what to expect. I haven't looked at lumber in well, so long. Since before all of this mess started happening. I'm already feeling poor. <laughs> there we go. Crazy. I feel crazy. Here at Penner Building Center. The only people open in the area on a Saturday. We were going to go to Grunthal Lumber, but apparently Grunthal Lumber closes at 1 o'clock on a Saturday. You know the time of uh, the time of week when everybody wants to do their renos and stuff. That's right, I'm going to need my muzzle. One sec. Getting very close to the point here where we're not going to need these anymore. Let me show you what we're working with. We don't really show the front of our house a lot, so uh, you guys may not even have seen this front deck the way it was before already. So the owners before us, what they did, they built this deck on to sell the house. It was a really good feature. I, I really like it. However, they did a, uh, they did a little cheap. They'd used regular untreated two by fours for one, and. Once they were done, they painted it with deck over. And this is what deck over does the very next year. This whole deck was finished last summer. It's about a year, a year old. And this is what it's looking like now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this top part with treated two by six deck lumber that's designed to be out here. And then we're gonna seal it next month so that it'll last a long time. I've already started taking off some of the boards here but it's very difficult because what they've done here you can see this uh, what they did was they when they screwed these boards down they screwed the screws in really deep and then they filled the top with drywall mud to even it off and then painted the deck over over that for a smooth surface so it was a different way of doing uh, doing a deck so uh yeah, this looks pretty terrible, right? I don't want this to be the first thing people see when they come to visit. So yeah. And I'm probably tracking in all that paint stuff too. Uh, let that be a lesson to you. The deck over is terrible. The same thing happened to my parents' deck. They used a brown deck over. It's sort of like a paint that's made for decks, but uh, it's not. It's not good. It's not good quality. It always peels. The best is just to seal it. So what we've gone and got now is a nice maple sealant. I just got one can here for now, but we may need to go get another one. A maple sealant. It's in here. Uh, so it's exterior tintable wood stain with semi-transparent finish. Like I said, we tinted it to the color of maple. Maybe because we're Canadian? I don't know. Maybe because we just like the color. Mostly because we like the color. So that's what uh, we're going to be doing out there. The wood we got is outside. I'll show it to you. We got 60 2 by 6 by 8s treated lumber and it cost us $1,500 Canadian which would probably be just a little over a thousand American. Let's go take a look. This here is what $1,500 looks like today in lumber. It's not too bad. Lumber has actually come down in price by 27% since from last month. So it was cheaper than it was and it's still expected to continue going down. But we needed to get the project started now, so now was the time to go and buy it. Yeah, it, it's been worse, but it's been a lot better too for price. 
hopefully we got everything we need there. We may need to go get a few more things just to finish it up, but I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a lot bigger of a project than I thought it would be, of course, but that's the way it always is. That's the way it always goes. At least we'll have a nice new finished deck. And then uh, my nephews from Brit's side are coming over uh, next month sometime, if everything works out and, and they're able to. And uh, hopefully, we're thinking that they're gonna help us stain it so we can probably get it done in a very short amount of time. I was a little nervous, to be honest, going to the lumber store. At first, what we were gonna do is we were gonna use the pressure washer and blow all of that red paint stuff off of there and then restain the wood that's already there. And then we started realizing that more of the boards were rotten than we thought because uh, they weren't treated, they weren't made to be out in the rain. Uh, for that long and it was just done a little bit cheap, but hey, maybe that's all they could afford to do At least they had a nice deck, right? And it was a nice selling feature. It, it is really nice We've used it quite a bit. We like sitting out there first thing in the morning on the weekends having our coffee but uh, you know It just needs a little bit of an update So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing there We got our wood from EG Penner which is the, it's a building supply store here in Steinbach. And uh, it is a little bit expensive, but again, like we were saying earlier, it's the only place that's open on Saturday and they're only open to like five o'clock. I don't understand some of the, like most of the stores around our area. I understand most stores are still, or a lot of stores are still closed on Sundays. It's a, it's a very religious faith-based area. So a lot of companies don't don't open on Sundays. I understand that part. I was raised in that as well. So I understand. I understand. Don't want to work on Sunday. Okay, I get that. But why Saturday too? Right? Like the all the other building stores around here and a lot of other businesses are closed on Saturdays. Remember I went to go get a helmet from the Honda dealership in town last Saturday or a few Saturdays ago and they were closed on Saturday. I don't know if they closed early. I don't remember if they're closed altogether. Only open Monday to Friday. And then they're only open till six during the week. So normal people who work Monday to Friday don't have time to even get to these stores to buy anything. That's my problem. I'm like, Saturdays, that's renovation day. That's when people want to work on their decks, when they want to work on their vehicles, when they want to have fun. You know, they might need their recreational vehicle tuned up or, you know, their, haunt, their, their bike or their quad might need a little a part or something so that they can go have fun for the weekend but maybe something small broke they just need to go buy a part so that they can get going no we can't do that because on the day when we all have time to do these things the stores are all closed so we can't go and give them our money it just doesn't make sense to me Saturdays that's the day you want to be open late that's when everybody's gonna give you their money right right am I right Coffee. Couldn't believe it. So EG Penner was the only place that was open. We were gonna go and buy our lumber from Grunthal Lumber because they have a lot better prices. But hey, Grunthal Lumber wants to close at 1 p.m. on a Saturday when I wanna go give them my money to do some projects. Hey, I guess EG Penner gets my money instead. Right. I'm just thinking from a straight up business point of view here. like. I would want to maximize my profits on the days when I know ugh, you get it. You all get it. You, you're probably a bunch of business owners out there. Who knows? I've said it before. I don't know who's on the other end of these cameras. You know, you could be a big CEO of a big billion dollar company. I have no idea. I'm talking to you right now. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Congratulations on all your success. I wish you all the best. Who knows? Maybe we're all just a bunch of employees, a couple of truckers working for the big man. Maybe we're between jobs right now. I don't know where you're at in your life right now. Where I'm at right now, I'm, I'm happy with. I'm happy with. And where I'm at specifically right now with my coffee. Exceptionally happy with. Things are always changing, you know? Things are always changing. Life sort of gets reassigned. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we've invested quite a bit into this house already. We've installed the air conditioner, top of the line air conditioner. 
Uh, we're putting in a new deck in the front. We put the fence around the yard. Uh, we're going to be redoing the cover on that carport later this summer, maybe in fall, uh, before winter. And uh, we're going to be repainting in here. And we're redoing the floors before we have our first child, which we have no news on yet. We, we still have no news, unfortunately, for you guys. I know. it's uh, We'll get there. But before we do have our first child, we want to put new flooring in here. Uh, there's a couple of spots on this floor where it's coming up a little bit and it could hurt a baby crawling along it and we just want a little bit higher quality floor. We also want a floor that's water resistant so that when, you know, spills happen, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you forget or if you aren't able to get to wipe it up immediately. Because this stuff, if the floor gets wet, like it's it's happened, if the floor gets wet and like there's a crack over here where they didn't do very good meat there. And if you get water in there, you have to dry it up immediately. Drop everything and go and dry it up immediately. Because uh, if you don't, it'll soak into the floor almost right away and swell up. And the only way to fix that is to replace it. What do I got on my arm over here? That must be some, some dog schnot. Dog schnot. Probably diesel from the nose. Looking at that when I was holding the camera. I was like, oh my. What's on my, my arm? <laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, what's going on around here. I've changed my schedule up a little bit with my vlogs here just to make things a little bit less stressful on me. There's a lot going on, especially in summertime. I want to get out there and, uh, well, aside from, you know, projects like the deck and the motorcycle, I want to get out there on the motorcycle this summer and enjoy it and make it worthwhile. It's a little bit expensive to register and insure motorcycles in Manitoba compared to other places around the continent and around the country and around the U.S. So I want to make it worth it, okay? It's, it's uh, I want to make sure I get my riding in. So I, I, I've changed my schedule a little bit with these vlogs. You're still going to be getting a vlog every day, but I think it's going to be more consistent this way because I've been falling behind a little bit and if I didn't have time to edit, well, you guys just didn't get a video. There was no video on the internet. Maybe that doesn't bother you, but the consistent, the lack of consistency bothers me. So if I don't have time at the end of my day, say I work till eight o'clock, get home at 8.30, I don't have time to edit. So I just put my files on the computer and go to bed. Well, no video tomorrow. I'm gonna adjust my schedule a little bit here so that we can have a video out at a regularly scheduled time again. Maybe 4 a.m. Central Time like we used to. We can get it scheduled to release or Maybe 10, maybe noon. Maybe you can leave me some suggestions down below in the comment section there of what would be a good time to release my video. I always liked releasing it at 4 a.m. because then it's, uh, it's available, ready for everybody to watch with their coffee in the morning here in North America, where the bulk of my viewers are. And for people in Europe, where the next big chunk of my viewers are, it's ready for them when they get home from work. They can sit down, relax, eat supper, and then watch some Trucker Josh. Same thing with Australia, too. I think Australia gets released in the middle of the night then, doesn't it? Or late in the evening. But it, it's hard to make it a perfect time for everybody around the world. Because my, my biggest chunk of viewers is here in North America. The next biggest chunk is in the United Kingdom and Europe. And the next biggest chunk is in Australia. That is where the majority of you guys live. The Anglosphere is what we'll call it. The English-speaking countries. Uh, obviously, because I guess I speak English, so it makes sense. You can, you can understand me. Makes sense, but there are a, a whole pile of you scattered throughout the rest of the world, and you know I'm glad you're here as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll see how this works. Okay, we're gonna try this for a little while and see how this works. Britt is at work right now. I am at home uh, with the commander. He's been very busy devising his latest schemes to take over the world. Dude, man, you gotta act fast now. You gotta act fast, man. Time's running out. I know. Stressful. I get it. Deep breaths. That's good. He's got a, a little bit of a wart on the top of his head there. Uh, we don't touch it. He's a little bit too old to have surgery on it now. And it doesn't seem to be bothering him. And it's not cancerous. So, we just don't touch it. <laughs> we have Chevy right here. And, uh, where's the rest of the guys? Go to the other end of our massive mansion. And uh, there's a weasel. Hey, Diesel. Everybody wants a, a quick hello from you. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, guys.
perfect. Perfect. That was awesome. Can't have a video without the weasel in it. People get upset. I think there's a wiener around here somewhere too. It's not me. It's a little wiener around here somewhere. Well, oh, there he is. You're in here crying because mom's not home? You know, I'm cool too, you know. You don't have to yell at me. Jeez. You're just not. You're, you're just not. The facts are you're not as cool as mom. He is a uh, one owner dog. That is my wife's dog. Brit's dog. She's had him since he was like, since he was born pretty much. And I am just, uh, I fall short from him. In his eyes, I am just not the brightest crayon in the, in the crayon box. And, uh, he doesn't, he does respect me. He listens to me. I, should, I was going to say he doesn't respect me. He does respect me. He listens well, but he gets sad when Brit's not here. He's sad and he goes and sulks in his room over there. I'm special too. Special too. They just, all the dogs, you all get more excited for mom than for me. But yeah, that was just a little chat updating you on, on uh, what I've been doing here this weekend. Tomorrow I want to take the bike out for a ride. We'll see if we can find the time to because I've also got projects to do. I'll be riding into work every day this week. So if I don't get it out tomorrow, we got all week. The weather is going to be great. It's finally summertime here in Canada. We're going to get a full three months of summer. I know I was joking around that we only get two weeks of summer. I was being a little, I was exaggerating a little bit for people who thought I was serious. We, we do have pretty good weather from about mid-May to mid-October. Good weather for riding motorcycles. Uh, maybe if you're brave, you can go a little further or start earlier, but that's riding season here from May 15th to the end of October, I think. It's up to you. Sometimes we have snow by the end of October too. <laughs> Ooh, we have such brutal winters here that when summer comes around, we like to seize it and make the most of it. So another reason why I want to change the schedule up a little bit, make it a little bit easier on me while still providing content for you to watch every day. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. This is just a little chat, a little hangout session. Have a great weekend.